So let's summarize the node voltage analysis. So the first step is that we select a reference node and then we identify all the remaining node voltages, that is the non-reference nodes. Then we write for each node at the non-reference nodes, we write KCL equation or Kirchhoff current law. Then step three is that we, then we use the IV relationships for the element equations so that we can express the current in terms of the unknown node voltages. And then finally step four, we use step three so that we can substitute in step, step two the KCL equations and then arrange it in standard form, which I'll discuss. After you get comfortable writing node equations, you can basically write node equations by inspection. And I'll show you how to do that. So, but first of all, just practice in writing these node equations. And this is uh, on a previous video, I did this example. And I already solved it using the four step node equation analysis procedure. So here, here's how I would do it by inspection. First I look at node A, you label your voltages of course, node voltages, so we look at node A, VA, and we see what's connected. We see it's resistor R1, resistor R2. So what we do is then we go G1 plus G2, which is the conductance or the reciprocal of each of these resistors. So we have G1 plus G2 times VA. Then we see what's connected to the opposite of resistor R1, and we see it's node B. So we put a minus G1 VB. We see what's connected to the opposite of R2, and which is VC, so we put a minus G2 VC. Then we check our independent sources, and we see what's coming into or out of the various nodes. In this case, we have IS1 going into node A. So we have IS1 in the other side. And you try to do this in a consistent basis. Now let's look at node B next. Node B. So we see here what's connected to node B. We see it's R1 and R3. So we have G1 plus G3 times VB. What's connected to the opposite of R1? And we see it's minus G1 VA. And then we see what's connected to the opposite of R3, and we see it's a zero or reference node. Now what's going into node B? We see it's IS2, and we put IS2 in here. So one more. VC. We see v node VC, and what's connected to node VC? Well, we see it's R2 and R4, so that's just G2 plus G4 times VC. What's connected to the opposite of R2? It's minus VA. So it's G2 minus G2 times VA. What's connected to the opposite of R4 was our reference node or minus 0 VB. Now we look at node C and see what kind of sources are entering and or leaving the node. And we see it's IS2. So since it's leaving, we put a minus IS2. So that's how you do it, write node equations by inspection after you get comfortable in following the four-step process. We'll do another example. Here's another example on how we can write node equations by inspection. So here I labeled my node voltage A here and my node voltage B here. So let's do node voltage A. So we see again what's connected to node voltage A. We have R1 and R2. So we have G1, G1 plus G2 times VA. Now what's connected to VA? At the opposite of R2 is basically VB. So we have minus G2 VB and that's equal to now what's the current? The inconcurring is IS1 and the outgoing current is minus IS2. So that's node A. Now for node B, we see that we have G1, G, uh, R2, R3, and R4 connected. So that's basically G2 plus G3 
plus g4 times vb. And what's connected to the opposite of r2 is va. So that's just minus g2va. And what's connected to the opposite of r3 is just our node reference, so we don't have to worry about that. And opposite of r4 is also connected to our node reference of 0. So that completes our uh, the left side of node equation B. Now we see on the right side our incoming current is IS2 and we have no outgoing current so that's just put IS2. So here we write we just wrote our node equations A and B uh, here VA, VB are our known voltages and that completely describes our circuits. So notice this is in standard form where we have along the diagonal the positive numbers and off diagonal terms are the minus uh, terms where with a negative sign. And on the right side we have our source input source currents.